This is Ryan with Game Room Solutions, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about home automation and some of the things that I have set up here. I just got the new Google Home with Google Assistant put in, so I've started linking it to some of the different smart things in my house. So this is a more realistic way to do things. Also, it's not real expensive to do this kind of stuff. I'll have a link to a blog, a link to all these products, uh, and a link to show you how to set all of this up. But just to show you a little bit here, I have uh, the Philips Hue lights, so I can talk to the Google by saying, OK, Google, turn on all the lights. And you'll see here, it turned on eight lights. Okay, Google, dim the living room lights. You got it, dimming two lights. So you can see there, I can control just the white lights that have dimmers on them. Let me turn these brighter ones off. Uh, these are colored lights over the bar. I guess I'll show you this. They're also under the bar, so they light up under the bar as well. Okay, Google, change the lights to red. Okay, changing lights to red. Okay, Google, party time. All right, enjoy the light show. So here she'll just start strobing the lights slow. We also have the setup to where every night at at, uh, at sunset it'll also slowly strobe these lights too. Uh, let's talk about I have it hooked into my nest, uh, both downstairs and upstairs. Okay, so you can see there, the nest is on 67. Okay, Google, set the downstairs to 68 degrees. Okay, set the family room to 68 degrees. So sometimes this takes a second for it to come in, so we'll just wait on it. There you go, so it changed that. So I can go up or down. Uh, the next thing we have is I have the Harmony Hub set up on all of our uh, TVs. So I can say, okay, Google, turn on the TV. Don't be lazy. TV turning on. So you can see there, kicks on our Google TV. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and change the input down here to show that I have a... Uh, Chromecast audio setup as well. So we'll, that's on the right. So I can also go over here and I've installed some speakers in the ceiling. And I can say, okay, Google, play some country music in the living room. All right, here's a radio mix of country music from YouTube. So you can see. Play on living room. So we get our music coming out there. We can also turn it down. Okay, Google. Okay, Google. Set the volume to three. So you can see it automatically turns down. You can go on a scale uh, one to ten. You can go on a scale of uh, you know percentage wise. Okay, Google. Turn it down to ten percent. Okay, Google. Stop. So you can see there, so I can run any kind of music that I want there. Uh, we pay for the Google Music, which is like eight bucks a month. I got it on beta, so we also get the YouTube Red for free. Oh, I'll show you one more thing here. So we can also control our locks as well. So I can say, uh, uh, okay, Google, lock the back door. Okay, performing action. So you'll be able to see there. I can do that to all the doors now. Okay, Google, unlock the back door. Action. So you can see there, and again, I'll have videos showing how to do all of this. So another thing I want to show is out back, and this doesn't cost a lot to do, uh, but you can see here that the house has a uh, kind of a red tent going under. Those are just LED lights going under the beam there. Also got a couple TVs just on an HDMI splitter that's running a Chromecast. But I'll show you how that integrates as well. But for these lights, it's real simple. It's just an LED strip running down. To do this entire thing was less than 50 bucks. There's also a small controller here. I don't know if you can see it, but it'll listen to the music that's coming out of that speaker and change colors if I want it to. So they come with a little remote. So again, this doesn't cost anything. I can aim it up there, change to blue, change to green, just push the color buttons, whatever I want. I also can hit this little uh, audio button 
and it'll go off and now it'll actually go with the music. So I can come out here and just to show you I can integrate the Google Home. Okay Google, play 50 Cent on the Backyard TV. So you'll be able to see back here, it's automatically coming on. And now that little receiver is just listening to the music. So I can set it solid colors, or I can have it go with the music. I also have another one under the bar over there as well. So I could kill those uh, Italian lights if I wanted to. Or I can set those to solid colors. So again, this stuff doesn't cost a lot, and it's really pretty easy to set up. We'll have guides and, and, and all of that on there, but you could do this to any TV in the house. Uh, so in your game room, if you wanted to set up something similar on your backyard, you can do this. Um, give you a little bit more of a party feel when you got people over. And again, so I can tell it to play different mixes, and it'll just automatically play. Uh, uh, we have all Android phones in the house, so we can do all the same stuff from the phone. It's just really nice that you don't have to go hunt your phone down, or if your phone's low on the battery, it's on the charger. Uh, for a lot of times, while the little kids will come out here and swim, we'll just tell it to play Disney songs. It'll just roll one Disney song after the other, and the kids love it. So again, Ryan, GameRoomSolutions.com, visit us. We'll show you how to set all this kind of stuff up. We also have uh, Fire TV sticks and Fire TVs. We can stream basically anything that you want for free. We sell a lot of arcade stuff, including small uh, little kits that you can put together. So visit us, GameRoomSolutions.com. Thanks.